Thank you, Strom. It's always good to be sitting, albeit looking at, at a TV screen, but uh, able to associate with those who fight for the freedom of Iran. None more so than my dear, dear friend, Mrs. Rajavi. It's so good to see her still working to free her uh, fellow citizens in Iran. Uh, I do apologize for appearing uh, slightly late. This product of 1938 is not terribly good at managing Zoom. So uh, I, I, I took a little while uh, getting, getting connected. But again, it's, it's, uh, it's a privilege to be with you all and with those who have spoken uh, here today. My big problem since uh, the time of Camp Ashraf, when one had a practical problem uh, to deal with and, and where we were able to, uh, together, to make some progress in, in that respect. And of course, we are grateful to the uh, Albanians who have hosted those who previously uh, were uh, bombarded within Camp Ashraf. But it's, it's, it's difficult, not least with I'm sorry to say it, but with my own foreign office, with the UK foreign office, to make progress that one would like to see. There is that standoffishness that doesn't allow, for example, when one asks questions about uh, the 1988 slaughter of 30,000 Iranian citizens, when one asks questions, we get a puzzled look coming from the minister in the foreign office and saying, well, you know, we're, we're not sure where we don't recognize those figures. They haven't been proved. That unwillingness is a huge frustration to those of us who know the truth of that horror. The, the reality is that, uh, and obviously at a time of this pandemic, uh, we uh, can't press, but I've long been eager to see those very faithful members of the Iranian community within the United Kingdom who do so much, who work so hard, I would like to see them having the privilege of, a, of their leader, Madame Rajavi, coming to the United Kingdom and, and being able to rally them as only she can. Uh, hence, it is, it is an objective for the future. It is something that we must not lose sight of, nor must we allow, I'm sorry to put it like this, but the wishy-washy attitude of the, M of the FCO, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, to dissuade us from achieving that objective. It, it, it is through visual and uh, uh, spoken, uh, but both visual and spoken uh, ap approach that we will be able to win more support on the ground amongst UK citizens and to create the atmosphere where we can acknowledge those members of the NCRI 
and their esteemed leader. That would be the breakthrough. And for those who, like myself, uh, are sitting in the United Kingdom Parliament, then we have got to maintain the uh, objective of having Madame Rajavi amongst us when the time is appropriate. I, I see some of you nodding in approval there, uh, Anthea and others. Thank you. That must be our objective. Thank you, Malcolm. That must be our objective. Thank you very much. Thank you.